We all know breathing is very important for singers, wind, and brass instrument players. But breathing is a vital aspect in producing music for all musicians. Did you notice my heavy breathing before I started speaking? I was actually doing a musician's breathing exercise. I'd like you to try it with me. But don't worry, you don't need to be a musician to do this. First, relax the muscles in your neck, chest, and abdomen. I'm going to set this metronome to 50 beats per minute. And we are going to breathe in through the mouth for two counts. One, two, and breathe out through the mouth for four counts and push all the air out on the exhale. So one, two, three, four. Ready? Let's begin. Inhale one, two, exhale one, two, three, four. Great job. Feel free to go and play Flight of the Bumblebee. So why does breathing like this matter so much? Well, the breathing exercise helps calm my nerves and focus. It also breathes life into the music by establishing the tone, tempo, and emotional characteristic of the piece. I'd like to share an example with you where I demonstrate how I use the breathing exercise to prepare myself for the performance and how I take one long breath just before beginning to play to set the mood for Bach's melancholy piece, Fantasia. Drawing one long breath just before beginning to play can help visually cue the audience to expect a more dramatic, sensual piece. It wouldn't have made sense for me to approach the piece by taking a fast, quick breath. In this next example, however, you'll do notice I take a fast, quick breath before starting Muchinsky's high-energy, fast-paced piece called Desperate Measures. Patterns for the performer and the audience can both change throughout the performance depending on the character of the piece. Researchers actually conducted a study to find out if there was a relationship in the breathing patterns while performing specific pieces and if there was a difference in the breathing patterns between pianists. The study found that the breathing patterns among pianists were notably different and that breathing depends not only what's written on the score, but also on pianist-dependent factors. The difference in breathing pattern may stem from the difference in musical expression and interpretation of individual pianists. And that makes sense, right? Each pianist can play the same piece, but that doesn't mean that they will play it exactly the same, and therefore they use their breath to make it their own. Another study found that the audience's breathing pattern when they were listening to music was different compared to simply their normal breathing patterns. What researchers concluded is that breathing is part of the musical experience even when no sound is being made by the musician. My piano teacher always tells me, Lucy, breathe, I want to hear you breathe. And of course, we are all breathing it's a key function in order to live. But sometimes I catch myself holding my breath, especially in the more difficult passages in my pieces. And my audience, or in this case, my piano teacher, can tell. My lack of breathing shows in my performance and delivery of the piece. The key is to use the inhale to draw the audience into the musical journey and exhale to breathe life into the music. 
let me show you another piece that exemplifies how breathing could turn what could be a passive activity like listening to music into a shared experience between the performer and the audience. I'll be playing the last few seconds of Tarantella by Franz Liszt, followed by the beginning of the second section. The first section is full of energy and speed, and then transitions to the second section, which is more beautiful and operatic. Pay attention to how my breathing is actually a part of the performance, and how it gives not only myself a chance to take a breath, but also the audience. In this way, both of us can prepare for the new section that is to come, which is different in character, tone, and tempo. can see, breathing is inherent in music making, even in those moments when there is no actual sound production. Paying attention to the way I breathe as a musician can help increase my connection to the audience. As a ninth grader who had to start high school online, I am learning to adapt to new academic learning models. Similarly, as a musician, I am learning new ways to express my artistic endeavors. During this pandemic, all musicians are faced with new beginnings. We are all sharing our music in new ways through video conferencing, using Zoom for lessons, recitals, and even concerts. My hope is that despite the digital divide, I will still be able to connect with my audience through my breathing and make the music come to life. In this way, I can engage my audience and most importantly, allow them to breathe with me. During this pandemic, the whole world needs to infuse a new breath and rethink how music is played and appreciated. Thank you. <laughs>